Davis, what's up? Mm. Sorry guys, I was so thirsty. Hello Aquarius, so welcome. I am G1 Writer here with G1 Insights and I'm super happy for you guys today, okay? The reason why is because I see a lot of growth here. I see a lot of growth, honey. A lot of inspiration, a lot of new ideas, a lot of new business ideas. This is good, okay? Now, let's get into this because this is your overall general career and life focus. Um, and sometimes when I do that, I talk about, you know, your career, of course. Um, and then sometimes I have to talk about personal things that's going on in your world, in your life, in your love life, and so forth, right? But this is not a love focus. However, there are lots of indications here that something amazing is going to happen. So, good. Let's go on with it, okay? Now, everything is happening the way it needs to happen right now, okay? So, look past the illusion and see the underlying in order. That is not the first time that I have told you guys this. This is really about you really kind of balancing things out and gaining some type of order this season, okay? Now, the next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys was that I see some type of recognition for high quality work. So I do see that your prayers have been heard and answered. So just have faith, my love. Have faith that everything is working out, okay? You may need to make some dietary changes as far as what you are eating or what you're drinking. Maybe adding something, taking away something. You may need to focus a bit more on your health this season, okay? And what that means is you are taking a lot better care of yourself, which is not really surprising to me because we do have that new moon in Taurus approaching us on May 15th, give or take a day. So that is really going to be encouraging us to want to look better, you know, act better, you know, dress better. It's really going to be pushing us to do things a lot differently, okay? And the thing about that Taurus energy is it's also encouraging us to take time to nurture ourselves, okay? To nurture our physicality, to nurture our mind and our business aspects, to nurture our finances. This is really, really putting us in a good space. So this is a good thing overall, okay? The next thing here is the Ace of Swords. Now, I like when the Ace of Swords come out because this is all about new ideas and inspirations, but this is also about you kind of speaking your truth this season. And I do see that a lot for you. So my overall message for you this season is basically about speaking your truth and living your truth, okay? Now, seeing the truth of a situation, Something will be some revealed to you, especially early on in the very beginning of May, because we do have that full moon in Scorpio energy still hanging around. Um, we had a full moon in Scorpio um, April 29th, give or take a day, or on the 30th, I believe, or the 29th, okay? So that energy is still hanging around. So that first week of May is going to be really mysterious, really, you know, having us um, kind of dig a little deeper into why we are the way we are, why do we love the things that we love, asking us to kind of redefine our goals, redefine who we are as a person, and really, really getting down to the fact of everything, okay? The other thing about that Scorpio full moon energy is that it also can cause you to be a bit obsessive about your ideas, to be a bit more obsessive about your business ideas, to be more obsessive about yourself and who you love. It can even have you acting a bit more possessive over people that you love, okay? So don't be surprised if you are acting a bit more um, <clears throat> controlling, okay? Or, um, yeah, so that's all I had to say about that. So the next thing here is victory. I see victory here for you. So I love that card. It's one of my absolute favorite cards, okay? It's very beautiful. So I look at, just look how pretty that is. It's very beautiful. So I love when that card come out because it just, it's a reminder that all is not lost, okay? That things are working out. Now, teamed up with the Ace of Air, with the Ace of Swords, okay, and traditional tarot deck is the Ace of Swords, so teamed up with the Ace of Swords and with the Three of Pentacles, this is a lot of rewards. This could be financial gain, this could be prosperity, abundance, this could be just an abundance of networking, you know, being out there more, socializing more, traveling, going places, seeing things, you know, meeting new people. This is really about you owning your truth this month, okay? And as you begin to take better care of your health, you will begin to meet up with other people who are in the same same vibrational frequency as you are, 
who also want to get this health together, who also want to work out, who also want to exercise a bit more, people that also want to look good and feel good, okay? So that is good overall when it comes to your physical self, okay? The other thing I see here is the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is also another rewarding card. So there's a lot of emotional balance here, which is a good thing because, you know, with that Mercury retrograde messing us all up with between March and April, it has been crazy, okay? So I'm excited that you guys are finding some type of stability, that you are finding some type of emotional stability, and that you are trusting in divine guidance that your material needs are being met. OK, that you will begin to also develop trustworthy relationships. So this could either be with a spouse. This could be with friends. This could be with people that you don't even know yet. But you will begin to develop these new trustworthy relationships or any type of partnerships or relationships that you're a part of will begin to grow and begin to flourish at this time. OK, now the other thing here is this. When it comes to your career, you guys have options, a lot of options. Now, for some of you, you know, well, all of you are really humanitarians at heart, okay? But for some of you, you have this thing where you love tattoos or you love um, massage therapy work or you love energy healing work. You may even like physical therapy work or even exercise work. So you might even see yourself as an athletic, someone who loves to work out, someone who loves to play sports, or someone that is just simply into their physical self, okay? So this is good, okay? So that probably makes sense why sobriety is here as well, because maybe, just maybe, you will get into a field where you are in a health field, okay? Maybe helping someone get their life back on track. So this is good, in my opinion. I think this is really, really good. Now, the other option is this. I do see music here. Um, yeah, it says your connection to music is healing for yourself and other people. So even if you have don't have any interest in music, or even if you do, this is still proven to be a good thing to get into, whether you like music or not, okay? So whether you have or are able to play an instrument, whether you can rap or sing or whatever it is that people do in music, right, you can still you know, have a place in music, okay? You can still be a writer. You can still be a CEO of a corporate business, okay? You can still run the show, Aquarius. The thing is, you just got to get in where you fit in that. You got to find your niche in the world, okay? You got to figure out what really, really, truly makes you happy. And that brings me to my next point. Okay, my next point is this. When I did your chakra healing, okay, it talked a lot about growth. Okay, so we know that this is appreciating that you are growing, that you are expanding, that you are changing, that you are evolving, okay? So growth sometimes can be scary, okay? But this is a season for you to embrace the changes, to embrace the growth, to embrace the fact that you are not who you were or who you used to be, but that you are going to higher places. And sometimes that can be scary. Sometimes transformation can be challenging and it can be scary. But honey, you have the magic to make things work for you this season. And all I'm going to say to you is that you got to be more open-minded. You have to be more outspoken and speak your truth, okay? With prayer being here, I believe that cancer also just got this. So if you have cancer somewhere in your birth chart, you may also want to review their video as well because this is going to be extremely helpful. Okay, because I believe even in cancer reading, it talked a lot about networking and being more out there and being more social and giving back to the community. So this is a good thing that this is coming out for you if you do have cancer in your birth chart as a sun, moon, or rising sign, okay? Now, again, when it comes to speaking your truth, you know, you got more than one card here telling you to speak your truth. Now, whenever vanity come out, okay, this is really about how you are presenting yourself to the rest of the world, okay? Are you living and communicating your truth? Are you living what you are communicating? Are you living, basically, are you practicing what you are preaching, okay? Are you saying, okay, this is what I'm about and not doing it, okay? Or are you speaking that and actually doing it? So in other words, if you say to yourself, well, I'm an author of a book, I'm gonna write this book, are you actually writing that book? Are you actually a writer? Are you actually an author? Is that really how you perceive yourself? What is your truth, okay? Are you living and communicating your truth? Are you in alignment with who you really are? 
Are you living in your divine purpose? Are you really, 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 truly communicating your truth? That is what this is all about. And like I said, with brilliant ideas being here and all these new inspirations, you will begin to see the truth of a situation, even within yourself. You will begin to realize that you have grown, that you have changed, that your desires are not the same. Your truth is not the same. The things that you used to love is not the same. All the things that you used to love are things that you're going to learn to hate. And all the things that you used to hate are going to be things that you now love. So this is really challenging and really tricky, if you ask me. It's really tricky. So again, you just got to kind of be mindful about your approach this season because you have a lot coming at you. And yes, everything seems a bit, you know, like it's out of the ordinary and it's not working, but it is working. So you just got to kind of calm down a bit. Don't be so impulsive because the power of creativity is already in your hands. You just got to kind of backtrack a little bit. Am I really speaking my truth? But this is really where I belong. And this is really what I want to do. Okay, because when you really, really, really have your heart on something, you proceed with no problems asked. And the thing about growth, honey, is that you are you really following your heart? Are you listening to what you are really feeling? Are you really listening to yourself? Are you really paying attention to how you respond to things, how you are behaving, how you're acting? Are you really, really paying attention to these things? Because, honey, the thing is this. If your heart is not in it, it's not going to work. Okay, so if this is something you really, really, really want to do, you have to not just speak your truth, but you have to live in that truth, okay? So if you say to yourself, I am a peacemaker, okay, you have to by all means necessary walk like you're a peacemaker, talk like you're a peacemaker, live like you're a peacemaker. That is what peacemakers do. They go out through the world spreading love and light, and they are the peacemakers of the world, okay? So if you say to yourself, I'm an author, you should be writing, you should be practicing, you should be studying. Do what it is. Practice your craft. Perfect your craft. Whatever it is that you want to do. But nevertheless, dear love, you do have options. And victory is way ahead. So I do see that, okay? Victory is ahead. Rewards are ahead. Your emotional and materials are being met, and you are going to be building those trustworthy relationships. But here's the key. Who is going to build trustworthy relationships with you if you are not speaking and living your truth? You cannot just talk about your truth, but you're not living it, okay? So people need to see stability within you. That is going to make people want to be drawn to you. I mean, people are already naturally drawn to you, but it's going to make people want to come to you even more, okay? So I love your Aquarius. This was your career and life focus. It was really straight to the point, really direct, so I don't need to go any further. Um, if there was anything I did not really touch on specifically, please do reach out to me. Go to my website, www.g1insights.org, and click book a reading. And there, you can also find one of these chakra bracelets. They are really beautiful, guys, and they are really good for protecting your energy and protecting you from low energies and blocking negative energy out. So, guys, if you would like one of these chakra bracelets or if you would just simply like to just book a reading, please reach out to me. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Please like and share this video. Thank you so much for your love and your support. You guys are amazing and you never fail me, okay? Thank you so much. Bye.